Now I'm going to show you how to put another photo inside of this photo so you can make a collage and combine some photos and start to work with layers. So I've got this main picture opened up and so far it's just one layer. Uh, this is my hunting dog Ray and he likes to hunt pheasant so let's find a picture of a pheasant. If I just go to Google Images and type in pheasant that does not give me pictures that I legally can use. So all these pictures I cannot legally use. I don't have the rights to them. So go to tools, go to usage rights, click on creative commons, and now it pulls up some photos that I can legally use and I have permission. So don't just click on this little um, picture that you like. Make sure that you click on it and open it up to larger. It will tell you how many pixels it is. Then you're going to right click and save the image. Okay. So this is what it's going to save as in my downloads. Click Save. All right, let's go back to here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up in another document. So I've got this document open. Go File, Open. And I'm going to open up that picture that I just saved. And you can see it opens it up here. So I've got this file open and this file open. They're two different files. Now I want to select this and copy it and paste it. So I'm going to use the object selection tool, which is right here, object selection tool. I'm going to click on the pheasant. It does take a while to find the whole object. So while it's spinning, just let it think, give it some time. Don't click on it again. Okay. Now we're going to click again on the pheasant, which is the object that I want it to select. Okay, click one more time and now it's got the marching dots around it and you can tell it's selected because it's blue. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit. I can either cut it out completely, which will remove it from this photo, or I can just copy it. And then I go over to this picture and I'm gonna paste it in here. So I go edit, paste. And now it has pasted just the pheasant in there. Now that's a pretty small pheasant so I can definitely move it around and I can make it bigger or I could flip it horizontally or rotate it and I could do all sorts of things to it. So if I just want to make it bigger, I can go to edit free transform and I can definitely make it bigger in the picture. But that's how you take one picture, find it, copy it and paste it into another picture. Don't forget to save. It does not automatically save.